So you can already push play on your playlist. Just make sure it's not on shuffle because there is a little order for our vinyasa classes. And then you can come into a comfortable seated position. You can cross your legs or come to a kneeling. And just close your eyes and sit still for a moment. It takes a couple of breaths to settle into the stillness. To accept that the body is not moving. And to be able to notice more subtle messages and notice more subtle sensations in the body. Almost when you sit still, it takes a little while to notice the detail. Pay attention to your breath. Notice where the breath sits. Is it in the chest? Is it in the belly? Is it deep? What's the quality of your breath? In today's class, one of the things that I've learned in, in the yoga practice and also very much during my yoga teacher's training is that I had a lot of, well, I don't know, I can't compare, but I had certain limited beliefs, certain things that in my mind, in my heart, if there was a limit to love, there was a limit to uh, where I could go. It was almost like there is a roof above us and while I have, I'm practicing and I have been practicing for a while that to break down those limiting beliefs, you might have certain perceptions about certain things that actually limit you in your life. I can't do this, I'm not enough, anything like that. So love also for me, I, I thought, you know, if you meet someone, you fall in love, there is a peak and then it's downwards or like there is a limit to love. Well, if we practice unlimited love, unlimited possibilities, unlimited abundance, it gives you a different perspective of life. So maybe for the next couple of rounds of breath, and it's quite a, it's quite a deep one, so it might not come to you immediately, but do you, are you aware of any limited beliefs that you might have about yourself, about your body, about your value in this life, self-value, self-worth? that it would serve you to start to maybe see things from an unlimited, unlimited opportunities, unlimited love. And with that also comes the acceptance of the unknown. Our limits are often a sense of safety. It's like, okay, this is what I know, and, and that's also where my limits are. That's where it just simply starts. Well, when we open ourselves up to the unknown, and there is, I think, I mean, I don't know for sure, but it feels like there's more unknown out there than known. And if we just open ourselves up to all that is possible, including everything that we don't know. Our beautiful philosopher Socrates, quite an old one, said, the wise, they know that they actually don't know. Stay with the breath, three more deep rounds of breath in and out.
And then place the palms together in front of the heart, acknowledging your beautiful, unique light, your, your path, your growth, your care to heal and grow and discover. Acknowledging the other yogis that from all around the world are practicing together, breathing together. And thank you for being here. Let's bow our heads towards our fingertips, acknowledging both our beautiful mind and our open, warm heart. And then let's meet in a seated position with your feet hip width apart, your fingers pointing towards your bum, towards your heels. Lift up slowly, move the knees away from the shoulders, the shoulders away from the knees. Exhale slowly, bring your hips back down towards the floor. Inhale, both toes. Lift up. If you want to start a little less intense, just warm up the body, hold on to the knees. If you feel ready to extend, extend. Open the heart, open the collarbones, take another deep breath in. Feet back down to the floor. Inhale, reverse tabletop. Open the front line of your body. Exhale, sit bones back down towards the floor. Inhale, bulk pose, take your variation. Hold for three, two, last round. Inhale, feet down, hands up. You can lift your gaze up to the sky or even lift your chin. Exhale, hips back down towards the floor. Engage the core, inhale. Bow pose, hold for three, two. Crush your shins, your ankles, roll over your shins and come to a child's pose. So you can walk to the back of your mat, your big toes to touch, knees nice and wide. And just let your hips melt towards your heels and actively walk your fingertips to the front of your mat. Start to cultivate Ujjayi breath, slow deep breaths in and out of the nose. There's a slight restriction in the back of the throat. You can come back here whenever you want. Have a break, gift yourself a break, a reconnection to self and a reconnection to your breath whenever you feel it serves you. Inhale, come to a tabletop, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Cow stretch, look up, inhale, tailbone comes up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, cow stretch, open the front line of the body. You can lift the gaze, tailbone up. Exhale, round the spine, really press into your hands, create a C shape. Two more times, inhale, open. Notice the sensations in your shoulders and your hips. Notice your spine. Exhale around. One more time. Breathe in. Empty the lungs. Chin to chest. Hollow the belly. Breathe out. Anatasana. Walk the hands to the top of the mat. Hips stay above your knees. Now press your chest down towards the floor. Softly, gently. Surrender into the shape. Where is the limit of each shape? Can you softly with the breath surrender into softness, into space? Inhale, tabletop, bring your hands back under your shoulders. Exhale, tuck your toes. Inhale, plank pose, walk your hands to the top of the mat. Exhale, up first, downward facing down. You have four to six rounds of breath here. You can stay still, it becomes quite meditative. Or if you prefer to pick up the legs and bring some movement into the back of the legs, just do so. Take two more rounds of breath. Any stickiness, any interesting sensations, just feel it. Notice it, and that's all that we do here. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or step the feet all the way to the top of the mat. Feel your hip width apart. Interlace your hands behind your back. Take a halfway lift, lengthen. You can bend the knees, 
if you want to, and then fold forward for three rounds of breath. Feel free to close your eyes. Stillness or maybe a shake of no with the head. Stay with the breath. Keep the feet, inhale, Utkatasana. Feet stay hip width apart. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Suck your navel in, hollow the belly, tuck the tailbone a little bit. Take one more deep breath in. Fold forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Inhale, a halfway lift. Your hands can come to your shins. Exhale, slip the left foot to the back of your mat. You're in a low lunge. Hold your low lunge, take a deep breath in, sink the hips a little bit deeper. Pyramid pose to hold three rounds of breath here. The right hip and right sit bone reaches back towards the back of the mat. The left frontal hip bone draws forward, so there is a bit of a scissoring action. Connect to the breath, notice how the breath creates space in the body. Inhale, easy twist, right arm up to the sky, your right knee bends, reach up and hold. You can create a couple of circles with your hands, just reaching and feeling into the right wrist. Take another deep breath in here. Head down, knee down, rooted lunge. So you can stretch your upper body. You bring your chin in towards your chest. Really round the spine. Inhale, Anjana Yasana. Arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, twist over to the right again. Hold and breathe. Left arm reaching forward, right arm reaching back. Tuck your back toes and on a back bend. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Your back toes are tucked. For three, you can look up. Two, take one more deep breath in. Skandasana, hands all the way over to your left foot, turn it up. Good, inhale, Skandasana to the top of your mat. Exhale, Skandasana to the back of your mat. Low lunge, walk all the way back to the front, breathe in. Stay for the exhale, standing splits, left leg reaches up, hold and breathe. You can bring your hands to the floor, right hand can come to the calf, and then you can draw. Where is the limit of your pose? Can you bring some more, a little bit more energy, a little bit more pita, reach through the toes, draw the nose towards the shin. Take another deep breath in here. Softly land your left foot, maybe hover it a millisecond above the floor and then place it down, toes to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plane pose, step the hands down, feet to the back of your mat. Hold your plane pose and close your eyes. There's already in your yoga journey, I'm sure that there's things that you are now able to do that you consider impossible. You looked at someone in the yoga practice and went like, wow, I will never be able to do that. And that's a limited belief. Stay open-minded, open-hearted, it's a journey. Look at you being strong, being focused, breathing. Take another deep breath in slowly on the toes or the knees to the floor. Let your face come first then your chest, then your tummy, point to the toes. Interlace the hands behind you. Up, lift your chest, cobra variation. Neck is in line with the rest of the spine. Press the toenails into the floor. Take three more rounds of breath here. Where can your shape go? Where can your practice go? Where can the mind go? How much love can we feel in our heart? It is limitless. If we stay open and just curious enough, take another deep breath in, nose to the floor, hands next to your ribcage. Slightly different transition. We've done this before. Inhale, slide your knees in so your tummy lifts up the floor. 
Your knees slide in, your tummy is off the floor. Then press yourself up, which is quite tricky. Child's pose, hips all the way back towards your heels. Inhale, table tuck, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog, three rounds of breath. You can come into child's pose instead if that feels nicer to your body this morning. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit down into your little chair pose. Yeah, nice. Now you can choose to have the toes together or you can have the feet hip width apart. They're both fine. Just Maybe play around with both and see what works for you in the transition. Take another deep breath in. Slowly exhale, sit your bum down to the floor. Inhale, both poses. Lift your feet, fold. Now we do a roll over your back, just one, and see if you can find your Utkatasana again without using your hands. Mobility. Lovely. Well done, yogis. Exhale, fly your arms behind you, find your balance. Lift your heels, heels a little higher, bum a little lower. Those wings, your arms are like wings, they are spreading behind you. Energy through the fingers. Saving the heels up, reach the arms next to your ears. Good! Focus your eyes on your drishti for three, two, Fold forward, soften, nice, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Right foot snaps, low lunge. Stay for your inhale, descend the hips, strong back leg. Exhale, pivot the pose to hold. Draw your nose closer to the shin. Soften your neck and shoulders. Come back to the breath. Inhale, easy twist, bend your left knee, lift your left arm up to the sky. A couple of circles in that left wrist if that feels nice. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, rooted lunge, hands down to the floor, knee down to the floor and round your spine. Look at your belly button, hollow your belly. Over the back line of the body. Inhale, Anjana Yasana, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, twist over to your left, hold and breathe. Your left knee is pointing straight forward, activating your fingers and toes. Tuck your back toes so you prepare for the transition. Inhale, add on a back bend. Reach the arms up to the right arm up to the sky. Breathe in. Skandasana all the way to your right foot. Breathe out. Inhale, skandasana to the top. Lovely. Exhale, skandasana to the back. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, stay and find your feet to send your hips. Standing splits, inhale, hold and breathe. <coughs> Excuse me. Come back to the breath, let the breath create space. There is more possible than you think. Control dragging, breathe in. Let your right foot, if you can, hover just above the floor next to your left foot. And then step it down. Woo, nice landing. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plank pose. Hands to the top of the mat. Feet step to the back of the mat. All right, so in a shaturanga, toes or knees, shift your weight far forward. It's actually quite an important step. So the balls of the feet are on the floor. Now shift forward so you come to the tippy toes. You can feel this in your wrist. Then you come halfway. 
Maybe you're on your knees. Upward facing dog. Flip over your toes. If you can, have the thighs off the floor. And then the hips lift, find that length. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath into the nose. And a soft sigh out of the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Inhale, Utkatasana. There we go. Take a deep breath in. Fly your chair. Exhale. Arms reach next to your ears. Rocket ship arms. Breathe in. Sit all the way down. Breathe out. Inhale, both pose. Good work. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Hold for three. We're going to rock maybe only once. If you need two, that's okay. Rock over the spine. Find some momentum, maybe without your hands. Find your utkatasana. Yay! Nicely done. Take a breath in. Fold forward. Exhale. Inhale. Halfway. Lengthen. Left foot steps. Low lunge. One movement. One breath. Inhale here. Pyramid pose. Extend both legs. Humbly bow your head. Inhale. Easy twist. Right arm up to the sky. Exhale. Rooted lunge. Knee down. Chin to your chest. Inhale, Anjanayasana, arms up. Exhale, twist and tuck your back toes. Inhale, add on your back bend, reach the left arm up. Exhale, Skandasana, all the way to your left leg, flex your right foot. Inhale, Skandasana to the top, straight spine, open those hips. Exhale, Skandasana to the back. Inhale, low lunge, walk your hands back to the top. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, stand and split. Up with the left leg, hold and breathe. Let's try to bring our right hand to our calf. And with a little bit of force, with gentle force, bring the nose closer to the shin. Take another deep breath in. And this time, slide your left foot behind your right foot. So your feet are crossed. Yes, halfway lift, lengthen. Walk your hands to the right side of your mat and then let your head hang forward. Let your head be heavy, yeah. Feel that nice T-band stretch, opening in the left side of your rib cage. Inhale, walk the hands back to center. Exhale, cross-legged crow. Now, let your mind just go open-minded. Cross-legged crow. You have the feet together. Lift your heels. So you lift your heels, your ankles stay crossed. From there, you place your hands into the floor. Bend the elbows, so you draw the elbows quite close to the knees. And then it's a, you remember I said in Chaturanga we shift forward. The energy, the weight is shifting forward. Look forward, shift forward. Maybe your left toe reaches up. And it's nice because here you can do one toe at a time. Maybe the ankle, the right ankle presses into the left ankle. And if your mind is telling you that you will never be able to do this, that's a limited belief. Trying is enough. Trying is enough. It's just finding the pieces of the puzzle. How do things connect? How do things work together? Where do you place your hands? Trying is enough. And if you try it multiple times, suddenly one day it will happen. Suddenly one day it will happen. Yeah, good. And even in the process of trying, be kind. All right, if you've had enough, just come back into your cross layer. So your right foot is in front of your left foot. Take your right hand and bring your index and middle finger 
around your right big toe. Let's call the toe hook. You can reach your left hand to the side, bend your knees, and come to a standing position with your big toe in your hands. Yes. Good. Awesome control. Change legs, Ingo. So at your right hand with your right foot. Yeah, that's it. The foot is nicely flexed. Take a deep breath in and then land your ankle on top of the thigh for a figure four. Focus your eyes. Breathe. For three, two. Inhale, single leg to dasana. Lift the knee in towards your chest. You may kick the leg out if you can. Yes, stay. For three, two. Low flying warrior. Kick your leg behind you. Hands can come to heart center. We hold. Start to bend your standing leg at your left leg. For three, two. Crescent lunge, inhale, softly step back, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Three-legged dog, left leg up, inhale. Knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg reaches. Knee to the left arm, exhale, good yogis. Inhale, three-legged dog, full stretch. To the right arm, hold, falling triangle. Extend your left foot underneath you. Bring your right arm up. You can reach to the right hand to the ceiling, or maybe your right arm comes over your head, next to your ear. Awesome. Feel that length in the side body. One more deep breath in. Look down. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, three legged down. Exhale, Chaturanga. Feet down, or you can do one legged. One legged Chaturanga. You keep your left toes pointed. You bend your elbows. Bend the left toes. Come to the floor. The right toes flipped. And then we meet in our downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath here to digest. Maybe child's pose serves you more. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Inhale, sit down into your little squat. Exhale, fly. Now you can stay here. Or you can do a diver's pose where you interlace your hands behind you and start to dive your nose. This is risky business. This is risky business. Yeah, but there's no limits to your body. There's no limits to your mind. There's no limits to the openness of your heart. See where your edge is. The edge is maybe where you will fall and you will practice that edge over and over and over and it will start to change. Inhale, Utkatasana. Heels down, arms up. Sit all the way back down softly. Exhale, both pose. Breathe in. We're heading on. Half boat. Breathe out. Back to boat pose. Breathe in. One rock and roll all the way to the back. Utkatasana. Breathe in. Fold forward. Breathe out. Inhale. Halfway lift. Lengthen. Very good. Right foot steps. Low lunge. Stay for the breath in. One breath. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, easy twist. Bend your left knee, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, rooted lunge. Knee down, chin to chest. Run, run like a cat. You can keep your back toes tucked if you want. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist over to your left. If your back toes are not tucked, tuck them now. Inhale, right arm up and on the back bend. Exhale, skandasana, all the way to your right leg. Big movement. 
Yeah, looking good. Inhale, skandasana to the front of your mat. Exhale, skandasana to the back. Low lunge, breathe in, walk your hands, lift your right heel. Stay and find your feet. Caress and lunge this time. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Actually, no, we're doing the standing splits. My left, standing splits, right leg up to the sky. Hold and breathe. The crescent line will come after. Yeah, reach to the toes. Maybe your left hand comes to the calf. Take a deep breath in here. Reach to the right toes. Right ankle crosses behind your left ankle. Halfway lift, breathe in. Walk your hands to the left side of your mat. Now let your head hang. Really let your head hang. Often here, people keep their heads up. Let your head be heavy. Let your shoulders and your neck muscles relax. Feel that length and that space in the right side of the body and breathe into it. Inhale, walk the hands back to the front. Exhale, cross legged crow. There we go. Your heels lift. It's almost like you feel like you're a ballerina. Yeah, ankles are crossed. Try to stay in a space where the ankles stay crossed. So they're kind of pressing into each other. Hands come quite close to the feet. Bend your elbows. It's almost like you want to bring your elbows under your knees. Then you look forward. Think about shifting more weight towards the hands. Shift the weight forward. The right toe might lift. And that's enough. That's enough. Step by step. Hold and breathe. Let me see how amazing you are. Give it a try. Trying is enough. Awesome. Thank you for trying. Slowly, we meet back when your left foot is in front of the right in case you accidentally uncrossed your feet. Left hand to your left toe. Left hand to your left big toe. Toe hook, reach with the right arm that can help with the balance. Bend everything and then press and stand all the way up. Woo, nice. Good control. Hold, take a little breather. Find your drift seat, breathe in. Figure four, your ankle, just place it on top of the thigh and the hands can come to heart center. Sink a little deeper. Yeah, that's it. Core strength, right? Single leg to dasana. Maybe you kick your leg out to the front. Hold, hold, hold. Take a deep breath in, reach the fingers. No flying warrior. Start to kick your leg behind you. Find your balance. Reach to the ground, active left toes. Find a drishti for your eyes. The three. Two, soft landing. There we go, present language. Arms up to the sky. Beautiful control. Hands down to the floor, flatten the palms. Inhale, three legged dog. Right leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose, draw it in. Inhale, three legged dog. Right arm up, leg up. To the right arm this time, knee catches the elbow or above. Inhale, three legged dog lengthen. Knee to your left arm, fully triangle support. Also flatten the back heel. So your left heel is also on the floor. And then lift, both heels are touching. So the one foot is the pinky toe side of the foot. The other foot is the big toe side of the foot. Reach up, arm can come overhead. Reach, reach and find that space. Take another deep breath in, look down, hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog, Nathan. Exhale, Shaturanga, maybe a single-legged Shaturanga. So you come forward, you keep your right toes lifted. Shift forward, forward, halfway. Inhale, upward, facing dog. It's quite a cool one, huh? That's single-legged. Up dog, exhale. Whew. Downward, facing dog. Three breaths. 
in stillness. Try to stay still. Feel whatever you feel. Think whatever you think. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. There we go again, our mobility exercise. Exhale, fly your chair. We will add on this time again. Arms reach next to your ears, rocket ship, hold for three. Two, inhale, Utkatasana heels down. Exhale, bum to the floor. Inhale, bold pose. Exhale, hovering pose. Inhale, bold pose. Now we come to plow pose. Different people, different options. Once you're in plow pose, try not to move your head because there is some pressure on the neck. You want to look first. You come back, you can even hold on to your hips. My hair is in the way, so up. Or you can bring your hands to your feet. Your knees can be bent. Now we stay here for five breaths. Maybe close your eyes. Some like to interlace their hands behind you and walk your meaty part of the arms under you. Three more rounds of breath. Big stretch. For me, it's a big stretch. I've always found this one quite overwhelming. I can feel the heat. Woo! Tricky to breathe. Are you ready to move back to Utkatasana? Bend the knees, roll, Utkatasana. Inhale. Good. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, left foot steps, low lunge. Breathe in to stay. Exhale, pyramid pose. You know where we're going. You know the flow. Inhale, easy twist. Bend the right knee, right arm up. Hold or come to a side plank. Excuse me to turn my back to you. Side plank, you bring the right foot on top of the left or in front of the left. Hold and breathe. Press the hips away from the floor. Maybe your drishti is down on the mat. Maybe your drishti is on the wall next to you. Maybe your drishti, your eyes are looking up towards the right hand. Woo, that's tricky. Take another deep breath in here. Step your right foot or help your right foot back to the top of the mat. Breathe in here. Knee down to the floor, exhale. Inhale, Anjana Yasana. Exhale, twist over to the right side. Tuck your back toes, inhale. Back bend, lift up. Exhale, Skandasana, big movement. Bend your left knee. Inhale, Skandasana, walk it over to the right foot. Exhale, open those hips, bend your left knee. Inhale, low lunge, come back to the top of the mat. Frame your foot, stay for the exhale. Standing splits, now. Slide actually before doing your standing splits. Slide your right foot backwards and then do your standing splits. So your foot is halfway your mat. Your hands can be flat at the top of your mat. Handstand drills. Drill number one, trusting your hands. So how does that work? You lift the right heel and you bring the weight towards your hands and then you bring the weight back to the foot. Inhale to come forward. Look somewhere in between your thumbs to start off with. Exhale, come back. If you feel comfortable with that, once the weight is in your hands, start to kick your leg up. You can choose to kick the same leg up. Some people like that, just kick the same leg up. Then you can practice high five in the foot because often the second leg draws you back down. So if you go hop, hop, try to clap your feet. One foot up, other foot up. One, two, hop, hop. Yes. From there, maybe switch legs. One kicks up. Notice that your shoulders are already above your wrist when you kick up. Yes. 
I'll give you a little bit more playtime. Maybe you'll find your hand sets. And let all those limited beliefs about the fact that you will not be able to ever do this, let them leave your mind. Practice, 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 practice. And you will slowly, step by step, get closer and closer. It's overcoming of fear. It's scary. It's weird. It's upside down. Handstand is not easy, but you will get there. Yeah, take another 20 minutes to play or rest in child's pose. Not 20 minutes, 20 seconds. <laughs> that 20, 20 minutes would be a little bit crazy from a limited belief system, like 20 minutes of handstand. <laughs> rest in child's pose. And now just notice the nice energy that you've cultivated for yourself. The breath, maybe a smile on your face. Awesome that you tried something new. Inhale, table top. Bring the hands back to the top of the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, three legged dog lengthen. Knee to the right arm or armpit. Exhale. Inhale, three legged dog lengthen. Knee to the left arm. We keep moving. Inhale, three legged dog lengthen. Right foot steps in between your hands, low lunge. Look forward, breathe in. Slide your left foot behind your right foot, feet are crossed, breathe out. Inhale, a little halfway lift, you can bend the knees. Exhale, walk your hands to the right side and just stay for three rounds of breath. Let the head be heavy. That weight pulls into the muscles, into the tendons, into your fascia. Ah, a sign is always welcome. Inhale, move back to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold the right toe hook. Right index finger to right big toe. I'll mirror you. Reach, bend, prepare. Hop on. Stand all the way up. Nice work. From there, a little different, you kick your leg forward. So what very often happens is when people start to extend the leg, their spine starts to round. So rather, keep a straight spine and a little bend in the knees, but you are pressing forward. Yes. So Ingo, rather than having the knee to the side, try to keep straight forward. Straight forward. Yeah, much better. The knee is pointing straight up to the sky. From there, we can open up. The knee can be bent, that is fine. Woo, nice. Nice, wobbly, wobbly, and if you lose your balance, notice your mind, let it be kind. Take a deep breath in, bring the foot back to the front. All right, ready, set, let go, but keep the foot where it is. Five, four, Ooh, la, 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 la. Deep breath into the nose. Sign it out. Stand still for three rounds of breath. Notice any interesting sensations. Your breath, the temperature of your body, the quality of your mind, and slow down the breath. Last flow, let's enjoy it. Inhale, Uttatasana. Exhale, fly your chair. Arms only, inhale, a rocket ship arms. Straight to the floor, exhale. Sit bones down, both toes, breathe in. You've got this. Exhale, hover your boat. Inhale, back to both toes, core straight. Plow pose, your option. Hands to hips, hold for five rounds of breath.
If you want, you can add a shoulder stance for another five pounds of breath, or you stay. Shoulder stance, you bring your hands to your rib cage, and you bring your feet up above you. Pound your breath, slow down the breath. Three more rounds of breath. Bend the knees, air pressure pose. Knees come close to your face. Slide the hands to the floor or to your hips. Slowly, let's slowly roll down. Slowly, slowly, slowly bring the spine down. And then see if you can come into Utkatasana. Less momentum, less momentum. Maybe you need to use your hands. Back into Utkatasana. Yeah, awesome, yogis. Fork forward, soften the neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Right foot steps, low lunge. Breathe in. One pyramid pose, hips draw back, soften the neck and shoulders. Easy twist, left knee bends, left arm up towards the sky. Side plane if you want to, or stay. So the right hand can flatten, the left foot can stack on top or in front of the right foot. Step the foot or help the foot back to the top of the mat. We are in a low lunge. Arms up, knee down, keep your toes tucked. Anjaneyasana. Twist to your left, exhale. Back bend, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, skandasana. Let the back knee turn the right foot out. Yes. Inhale, skandasana to the top. You're amazing. Exhale, skandasana to the back. Come back to your low lunge, come all the way forward. Stay for the exhale. Standing splits, there we go. Lift the leg up, slide it a little bit backwards. So probably step the right foot back, slide the left foot halfway your mat. Your hands are at the top of the mat. And then start to shift the weight. Right toes are really active, square the hips. So in your standing splits, lots of people open the hip, but that's not the alignment of handstands. This is not going to be your hip position in handstand. So draw the right hip back down and then start to shift the weight. Just feel like, okay, the weight is in my left foot, the weight is in my hands. And back to the left foot, little steps. From there, maybe you do your high fives. High five the feet, right foot goes first, left foot goes quite quickly afterwards. Give it a try, switch kicks. Nice, Julia, that's it, good enough. Good, Marley. Marley, nice. Fabulous, Ingo. Awesome switch kick there. Uh, am I? Good control. Good control. Try for another three. Two. Feet together, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold and soften. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Step back to downward facing dog, feet to the back of the mat. Left leg reaches up, take a breath in, knee to your nose. We're almost there, you'll be stay with it. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left knee, left arm. Feel the strength and control, nice. Feel your body with breath. Knee to the right arm, we keep moving. Inhale, three-legged dog lengthen. Step the foot in between your hands. Look forward, breathe in. Crush your ankles, right foot behind your left. Reach the chest, fill up. Walk the hands to the left side, three rounds of breath.
Back to center. Left foot, left hand. Find your toe, reach to the right. Bend the knees, find your drishti. And up you come, all the way. Wobble, wobble, wobble. That is totally fine. So before we have the knee pointing out to the side, let's point the knee up to the sky. So you're hugging your knee close to your body. And then start to kick it up forward. The knee is pointing up. Yes, that's it. Kick, 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 forward, forward, forward. Reach through the crown. Maybe the leg starts to open. You can do this with a knee bent. Don't fall out of the window, Marley. <laughs> Root through your right foot. Yes. Fabulous. Slowly bring it back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you ready? Take a deep breath in. Let go of the foot and bring the arms up above. Shaky, 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 active toes. Four, three, two, woo! Feel that quad, nice. Hands to heart center. You worked so hot. Very, very, very nice. We're gonna slow it down now. So Utkatasana, breathe in. Slowly sit down, breathe out. Bum on the floor, we're not gonna stand anymore. Well done. Soles of the feet to touch. And now we'll give yourself some space. So even walk your hips a little bit backwards. When the heels are closer here, it's harder to surrender forward. We're in the end of class now. So let's give ourselves some space, more of a softness. You can put a prop if you want to on your feet and just fold forward. You know that expression um, uh, where energy, where the mind goes is where energy flows. So if your mind thinks, oh, that's impossible, it is going to be impossible. If the mind thinks, well, hmm, maybe it's possible, then suddenly it opens so much more opportunities. And it's fine. It's fine to have limited beliefs. It's often also a, a way to protect you. But just catch yourself. It can be, it can be like a blind spot. Now, I definitely had some blind spots about my beliefs about certain things. And just questioning that, being curious, is part of growth and of understanding yourself. Slowly roll up, bring your knees together and bring them backwards. You can scoop a little forward. Oh, nice to be on the back. Just massage the pelvis, just the SI joints. We're bringing the knees, rocking them a little from right to left. Well done, guys. Bridge pose, bring your feet down to the floor. And just take it easy. We haven't done a massive amount of back bends in our flow. So just take it easy. Feel the front line of the body open. You can even, even have your hips like a little less high and swing them a little from right to left. Like a swinging bridge. Like a swinging bridge, if that feels nice. I like that rock and roll feeling into the fascia, into the stretching of the front of the line, line of the body. And then maybe a couple of moments of stillness, feel free to close your eyes. Slowly bring the spine back down to the floor. Let the knees fall over to the left for just a moment. Knees can be together or next to each other. And then we softly change sides, soles of the feet touch the floor, and then the knees fall over to the right side. <clears throat>
Bring the knees to center and then hug yourself. Hug yourself and take a moment to just thank yourself. Thank yourself for getting up in early in the morning and bringing yourself to your mat. 99% of your practice is to show up, is to just come to the mat and the rest will come, the rest will follow. So well done for being here. I am going to leave you in Shavasana today because I see it's always challenging to keep exactly to the time and here you, you can be the timekeeper. I don't know how much time you still have before the rest of your day starts, but give yourself just a couple more minutes. It is such a gift to just lie here for five to 10 minutes, to just integrate, let your body calm down before you start sharing your energy with the rest of the world. This is still a little bit of you time. Even the sky is not the limits. Thank you, yogis, for being here this morning. Such a pleasure from all around the world. Have a lovely day. Enjoy your Shavasana from a very grateful heart to your beautiful, beautiful, unique hearts. Namaste.